Ciao, toi tu. Nous t'en t'aiguons. Voici au Kelb, toi tu. Hawa. Voici au Claudia, toi tu. Seu, oh, yes, ah, se dá em, ele tô rico, não vou dar pega, quero, nem não. Seu, dá em, seu, doem, doem, não vou criar uma posta. Seu, melody, doem, doem, seu, timidi, posta, quero, nem não. Seu, glória, seu, Kristen. Seu Melissa, Awa Mele Osta, Osta, Wado, Dorian, Seo Tracy, Dorian, you have an echo. Does that mean you're in here twice? Yep, you're in here twice, Anna. So that means you need a you need a X out one of them, huh? Awa. Snow in Minneapolis. Hmm. Una chi, una chi. Hmm. Seo Brandy, Toyja. No wa. Oh, hey. Net flies around here sometimes. Hmm. So I guess it slipped in last night, maybe when the light was on, I don't know. Ah, spring, huh, Dorian? Oh, star. Ah, this went in. With uh, 87, they're gone. They were cool. We got 87 highest today. Cool, here you go. Canola ski, Arizona. Huh? Windy. Canola ski. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's all stuff in a way. But thank you, Lois. Maybe Saturday. You need stuff too. Let's go down a little bit in the weather. Mm -hmm. North Carolina. Hmm. Uh, Somebody else was in North Carolina. I guess that might be you. <laughs> uh, that's why I keep thinking it. North Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina. I thought it was Dan, but it's not not may not be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I don't think Dan is it. Dan was it. Seemed like I thought he was. Maybe he's one asking if there's another if there was another people in England. That's why it was England. Mm -hmm. I want. Okay, thank you too much. We stick it on that Ah, how are you, Osta? Got what? Go snail, how The youngest student I ever had was nine years old. I know of. Mm -hmm. And then we had 10s, and then we had 11s, and then we had 15s, 16s, 18s, 19s, 20s. And the oldest one, 80 something years old, 82 maybe. 82, I think, was the oldest a while back. Still going strong, I would say. That's right. Six and seven year old. Somebody had that. That's right. Let's see. Who was that? Was that Wally? See, oh, Angela, Deutsche. You're in the middle of. 
between uh, six and sixty-one. <laughs> oh, thirteen. How are you? Okay, I'm all stuck. Oh, twenties and eighties. How are you? All stuck. Yeah. <clears throat> Fifty-five. Well, you're still a youngster, aren't you? The files young. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Fifty five. Let's see, get the five. I forgot what I was doing when I was fifty five. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Osta is good. Osta. Mm. We bit. <laughs> How are Osta, Angela? Yeah. I'm about like I'm like eighteen. Did you know that melody? How <laughs> are? How are? What up? Ah, uh, I said that when I was, I was, uh, we was teaching uh, summer camps, you know, we had summer camps, we had all the way from first, uh, first grade all the way to uh, seniors, some, there were some seniors and there were some juniors and, and uh, so it was after school program, kind of like a school program, but it was summer, and I, I, I like to say those words, I'm like 18, yeah, and I, I said, I'm like 18, and one girl stood up, and she said, plus 80, you know, I said, wow. <laughs> uh, that was that was funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, I I I tell you she did not she did not get good grade. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you agree? I'm like eighty. Wow, eighty plus. Anna? Oh. Uh, Oh, oh, like 18. What up, Hannah? Oh, that was interesting, Melanie. Didn't know that. Oh, why? Yeah, I have been there a long time. American Youth Fair to have it in Oklahoma City. Been a while. But, mm. Oh, well. I want all stuff. Yeah. Brandy, I would say you're about 24, maybe something like that. Oh. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so let's see how do we how do we use tonight in honey? Honey? Somewhere around here, didn't we? This is where we finished, right? Somewhere about here. Did we do this row? Only. Oh, I had so many classes, I'm not sure. One more down? Oh, wow. So this is where we're on around right now, right? Oh, wow. No, I don't feel like older. I feel like I'm. I hear, I heard something like, Ed, what was that, what was that, uh, you look younger than me, I said, hmm, well, 
at first and younger. Wow, thank you, appreciate that. But I'm like 18, you know. Well, I didn't say I was 18, but I said I'm like 18. So I haven't said I'm 18, no, I'm like 18. So that's what I said. Uh -huh. Okay, so in this row we have the consonant S. And grandpa's name is A, so this would be S plus A. Sa, sa, like slowly, swirl, slowly. So, sa, sa, good one. Sa, sa, four star, Meredith. This next one is it doesn't have no vowel. This one don't. So this sound like and okay, for generations, this these snakes have learned the sound of that from a shirt bead, and they've been doing it for generations. Look at that sound. They really like it. They go like So their great great grandfather snakes started it. Let's pass this on down. We like this on. Yeah. So, but the words can be found in a lot of words. So, G squat bird. G G squat. Or like that's a bird. Or like G stew. G stew. Rabbit. G stew. So it can be found in a lot of words that sound. This one is se. Grandpa is e, so s plus e, se. Like selu, selu. Mom did a lot of things with corn, cornmeal, you know. Uh, she uh, made the cornmeal gravy. And she made a cornmeal drinks, patties, and cornmeal drinks with it. Cause it, it, it put, it, you got to put it in water those patties. And then cornmeal padded with beans in them, pinto beans in them. So that was good. And then cornmeal with uh, bits of uh, chicken, stuff like that, you know. And let's see, got the cornmeal besides making cornbread. And cornbread, and cornbread, uh, don't think about bean, bean bread tamales. I don't think so, Melody. You have to email me one. Maybe I can eat it. No, just kidding. Anyway. Anyway, so. Yeah. But it sounds good, though. Oh, wow. Anyway. And then there was uh, cornbread. Cornbread with uh, pinto beans, bean bread. And there was cornbread with a piece of uh, hog meat, you know, soft ones. So. And then there was uh, cornbread, uh, uh, fresh corn from the field, you know, to clean them up, fresh corn from the field, and uh, mix it in there with the cornmeal and bake that. And that was good. So there's a lot of she had a lot of uses for cornmeal. She was she was not a fancy cook, you know, but she cooked a lot of food. And pies, too, a lot of pies, different kind of pies, you know, apple pie, uh, huckleberry pie, peach pie, blackberry pie. Uh, mm -hmm. Strict meat, cornbread street. Don't think I've heard that one. Um, um, uh, so, sailor was important. Uh, and this one has C, like C, Wu, C, Wu, again, or more, C, Wu. What does that strict mean, Brandy? Uh -huh. Ah, I won. So, C, Wu, or C, O, or O, C, O. 
Oh, lean. Uh, oh, I see. Mm. Combat it. Uh -huh, interesting. Oh, I see. A stew. Now, if you throw it away, how can you have stew? No, <laughs> just joking. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, just had it. It's it just it's one of those things, you know. <laughs> I want. You'll have to excuse me, you know. Uh, trying to make people smile and laugh, you know, so they kind of forget and have a good time, so to speak, you know. Sometimes it takes work. Sometimes they think, hey, he's crazy, you know. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, gives flavor. Oh, stop. Oh, it's sort of like a hog grease. Hog grease, you know, after all the meat's gone, you know, then there's grease left, still left, hog grease, and you put that on beans and anything else, still got that taste. So, and so, so gwili, so gwili, what they call a horse, so gwili, so gwili, so gwili. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember that. So willing. When I was about, oh, a couple years old, dad put me on a horse. His name was Doc. I think it was. Yeah. I enjoyed that. In fact, I enjoyed being around horses. When I was real young, I'd, be, I'd go down where dad was. Oh, probably about two year old, three year old, something like that, four year old, two. I'd hang around where the horses were with dad when he's out there finning. You know, he'd be uh he'd be taking a horse to do something over there, maybe tied to a wagon or tied to a wagon or something like that. And I'd walk under the horse, you know, and the horse just stepped over me. He didn't step on me at all. I guess the horses were used to me, I guess. So I just walk under them and they just stepped over me. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they were careful, the horses were. So it's not a good thing to do, so don't do that, you know, but it's, it just happened, you know. So, Sue. Like Suli. Suli. Buzzard. Suli. 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 Buzzard. Oh, huh. Sugeda. Very interesting melody. You know a little bit more than you thought. Sugeda. That's what you use. Uh, that's a do. A do. Sugeda. Oh, it's time, melody. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you, you have good memory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want. Sa, alas, sa, ta. Oh, wow, can remember that. Uh, I was about to say, oh, well, I forgot what that was. Uh, Melody, do you remember that? No, and since you have good notes. Oh, wow. Oh, So, uh, sa, ta. The whole the whole words are shanga, shanga ta, for uh, shanga ta or shanga ta either one. Oh, good old day, Christina. Ah, Melly. Good evening, Elder. Hmm. I'm sure you're talking to somebody. 
Bon. <rire> ah. hmm. yeah. Uh, how you pronounce that letter? What letter is that? Uh, oh, saw. Oh. Hmm. Emma Sagata is a word pronounced. Oh, that could be e, e, like e h e. Uh -huh. This one here is e. And this one down here is sun. Sun. SV, sun. Mm -hmm. This up here is E. Remember? E, like E. Okay, anyway, sun, ga, sun, ga, ta. But it's pronounced sun, ta for an apple. Sun, ta. Come on. Some top mm -hmm. and ah, oh, you might say, well, so apple means sakta and sakta means apple. Well, let's think about that. What does apple mean exactly? You know, does apples the word apple say anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apple means something. Yeah, it's round food, or I don't think apple means round food, though. Ah, uh, Claudia got a little ahead of it. If you take part of it out right here, the, the sounds got top. It is hanging, hanging. So apple is hanging. So that's why they call it the fruit sunk top because it was hanging at first. So they had to give it a name. So part of sounds. And then they added sun. To it. So that's the name for the apple, sun. Sun ta. Well, it's not hanging now, but it was hanging at one time. <laughs> because the fruit does hang there, right? On the limb somewhere. So they had to give a name for that fruit. So they said, what would we call it? Where it come from? What's it look like? What it tastes like? What was it like? Well, it was saying on a tree. Okay, that will be part of the name for it. Then we'll come up the other part and then name it. Safka ta, sap ta. You know. So let's think of the name something. You know. So in reality, sap ta doesn't mean apple, but the word apple refers to the X. Apple refers to X. Ah, okay. You're right. <laughs> so apple refers to X. And uh, sometimes refers to the X. So we know what it is now, right? Uh -huh. So, so your grandma talked a different language, didn't she? Grandpa or mom and dad depends on when they spoke. I want. So <clears throat> when you speak the language, you know, you're speaking in a language of your elders. You know? If you don't, if you, whenever, if you learn your language now, uh huh, yeah. So it's a language of its own. You don't have uh, Latin. You don't have things like that. No. So why not? Mm. 
นะเอาว่า Let's see. This row we have a D or T constant added on here. This is da, da like a da, a da wood, a da. And if it's a T, ta like uh, some ga ta, some ta, yeah, some ta, some ga ta, ta. Let's just add that one just again. And this one is like, whoa, this is like day. Oh, excuse me. These, uh, these will be either, no, 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 I'm still working, I'm still working. I'm still, it won't be like that. Sorry about that. Misleading. Okay, this is day. Like day we, named for flying squirrel, day we. Also, it sounded like for someone named David, you know, day we. And this is te, te, like te ka frog, te ka frog. And this is d, d, like the guelela wagon, the guelela, the guelela. And this is t, t, is like. T, jokey, 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 that jokey. No. T is like a, a tikanega, tied up, tikanega, tied like a shoelace. T or hardly, or star, maybe T or hardly. Now these would be either or. For instance, this could be do. Or could be toe. Do ya beaver. Do ya beaver. Toe. Toka. Toka. June bird. Toka. And this could be do or two. Do. God. Bread. God. God. Or to your beans, to your, to your beans. And this could be da or ta, da or ta. Uh, G squid, the bird. G squid, ta ka, ta ka, that fly, fly ta ka. Housewives talk up too. Talk up. Okay, I walk. And this next one is from a little challenging. And even though it may sound a little different, is you actually got to have DL and TL with the vowels. Uh, F L A F L Y. Talk up. Taka, he, ga, taka, or fly, syllabary, ta, okay. taka, he went syllabary, uh, taka. So again, spell it phonetically, we can see it, not be able to pronounce it. Or you learn syllabary, taka. One. Okay, back to this again. The first one is pla. Remember, it's got sound with tail. It's a lot. It would be it would be easy to understand if you were standing right here. Then you could understand our certain over there. When I say it, but since we're distant apart. It may sound a little bit different, maybe like a KL, CL, or something like that. It's got sound with KL. Pla, pla, pla. And this one has with DL. Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I just forgot the hour there. Now these could be either or. For instance, could be ble or play. Ble play. Ble play. Could be either or. Depends on tricky word. And this could be either glee or clee. Glee clee. Glee clee. And this could be glow or clo. Glow clo. Glow clo. Uh, and this could be glue or clue. Glue clue. And if you got a good clue, you can solve the problem. And gla or clung. Gla clung. You missed that one, didn't you, Melee? Have you got a clue to what's going on? Uh huh. Okay, okay. I was trying to be funny because it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, oh well. Maybe next time. And this has got TS plus the vowel. If it's kind of may sound like J, you know, like a J ish. Ja. Ja. Like Jatoda, your dad. Jatoda. But number eight sound like a CH. Cha. Chanela. Or TS. Chanela. Sound like that. Chanela. Ah. Uh. J, J, like a J in, new one, a J in, new one. G, like G squat, remember? G squat, G squat, G, G squat. Next one is Joe, like a Joe, Joe in, Joe E, number three, Joe E. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next one is Jew. Jew. Right. Achoo. <laughs> Bad joke. Anyway. So, no, yeah. Like, uh, Julaski, Osta, Mele, Julaski, Alligator, Julaski, Crocodile, Julaski, Julaski. Also, a kettle, a kettle, no, not my kettle, or pa kettle, or any of them, a kettle, you know, like an iron kettle. You know. Give me that off a little bit there. Could make my circle. Uh -huh. Iron kettle. She lost him. So. Y'all know some turkeys, y'all, you know, y'all do. Why would they call a iron kettle Julaski and alligator Julaski? Remember, turkey words, you got to study, look at it. Don't just take it like it is. Think about it, you know. <laughs> uh, we'll just <laughs> most time well we'll just take half of your words in legs uh, we'll do that legs uh, that's the reason those legs you know 
they were scissors iron, and then they have alligator legs, you know. So that's what they were named for, legs. Julaski. Julaski means it has feet placed. Julaski has feet placed. Uh, not Ma Kayla, she's faster than that. Oh, anyway, so. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, the alligator might have wished he went back where it came from. Uh, uh, so that's where it came from, Jiloski. It has his feet placed, you know, so looking at the those legs. Uh huh. Nah, see how that what see where it comes from? There's something about it that gives that gives its name for for, for you know something about it. It's either where it came from, either what it looks like, either what it tastes like, it, it, it or what it might think look like, you know, those things, you know. Uh huh. Oh, wow. So it's your last game. So that's why. It's named after something. Okay. Jump. Jump. Mm -hmm. Jump. 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 Okay. So now. Now this is a W row. Or it could have air in front of it. But some people call it intrusive H, especially linguistics. Like this in here. W plus O. Wa. Diverse. And then it has over here with the air sound of it. Sound like hua. Hua. So wa hua. So, hua, wa, depends on the Cherokee word. And waka, cow, waka, cow, hua, a hua, ta, he or she found it. A de la hua, ta, he or she found the money. Oh. Thought it helped him out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Adjusting, hmm, that's sad. Adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. You remember that word for John, didn't you? you know, they, uh, adjusting, mm -hmm. oh, stop. See, you know a lot more than you thought, huh? Adjusting, let's think about that minute. Have we got time to think here. Maybe. Now, adjusting. Adjusting. What happens? <laughs> uh, is there any juice in the light? So, we'll speak. We'll switch down there. When you turn it on, it goes something goes in, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you think about that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you shut it off, what happens? The charts is sort of like going back out, isn't it? The electricity goes back and forth, right? So to speak. Uh, also leaves, you got it, leaves. So it's like to and fro. To and fro. So adjusting. Adjusting means to and fro. You go. Don't you like that description? For like?
So that's what happens, something like that. A judge could be like somebody uh, for somebody to do. Let's go that way. Can come back. So that's something to do. To and fro, like to and fro, back and forth. Go forward and come back, or back up. Mm -hmm. Is that ha jana ha jana ha jana? That's one I celebrated. It's something like you got the jumpskin. Ha jana ha jana. Go back. Go back. So it's command for you to go back. We had a relative long, long time ago. His English name was Go Back. He's Go Back. And he had a girlfriend when he was younger. And at that time, they had wagons, horses, and riding horses. They didn't have really vehicles, but I think they, maybe early vehicles, maybe, I don't know. I don't know when Model P started out. But anyway, generally more people rode horses and wagons more. Anyway, so he was walking, he walked to his, to his girlfriend's house. And 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 uh, so he was he so he uh, so he stopped going for a little while because he was busy, got caught up in it. And so and uh, and she wondered why he didn't come. Several days now he didn't come, come see her. She wondered, and so, um, and there finally he came. She saw him. She said, "Go back!" You know, she was happy to see him. She said his name, and what happened? He turned around back. He turned around and went back. <laughs> huh. Anyway, that's the story. They used to tell that when I was younger. <laughs> Walk in, yeah, funny, right? Okay, this next one could be way or hue. Way, hue. Way, hue. Way, sa, or sta. Okay. Can you think of this one? Hue. When uh, a good one, baby. When uh, go, go on. When uh, what's that? Next one could be we are we, 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 we. See. We, we turn up, we turn up, go to sleep, we turn up. We get, go get it, we get, go get it, something that is neutral. Next one could be, uh, whoa, that's a whole, by the way, I'm not right, my mouse jumped, eh, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, it's all cheese. Or star, war ye. Or star, melody. Pigeon, war ye. Pigeon. War ye. We had a relative by the name of war ye. And he was, uh, he, used to, he used to say this Well, he was a uh, relative moms. And when he was older, you know, he was, he didn't get around as much anymore. He was kind of funny, man. He told stories and liked to talk. So he used to say, "If you want to talk to me, come and see me." He said. And then he got older, 
didn't hardly walk around much. Uh, they didn't hardly leave. They always hang around the bed. He said, if you don't come see me, if you don't want to talk to me, come see me, he said. Because if, because, uh, if, because if you see me while I'm here, you don't talk to me, he said. Because after I'm gone, I can't talk to you, he said. Something like that. So if you don't talk, see me, come. And then, so. And, and mom used to say something like that too. You, know? if you want to see me? Come see me. If you want to talk to me? Come talk to me. Do it when I'm here. So, that's when I'm gone. I, I can't talk to you. I can't see you. So, so. Uh, I want. So I know. Uh, this is Wu or Hu. Wu, Hu. Wu day again. He or she threw it away. Can't think about Hu at the moment. And this could be Huang or Huang. One, 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 one. Okay, how long? Hmm. How long? And this one here, next one is a Y, or it could be air in front of it, intrusive Y. Cherokee, uh, North Carolina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are a group. Some Cherokee Nation Cherokees, some UKB Cherokees, and uh, Eastern. Are you excuse me? UKB Cherokees and Eastern Cherokees, all three get together. And when they're here, I I join them when they're here. Uh, to work on words for to save the words, put them on websites. To work on words to give to the kids, merchant kids, so they can learn, and just to speak among ourselves. So, a lot of good reasons to work on words. Come up with new words. Mention some old words, and a lot of things happen when they call a consortium when all three meet. So they come here two times a year Eastern Turkeys and UKB and Western Turkeys, um, Cherokee Nation Turkeys, they go over there. Oh, wow. uh, this one is Ya or Hya. Ya. Hya, ya, hya, hya. This could be ye or he, ye, he, ye, he. So honeymoon never stops, huh, Angela? That's what my wife said, told me a few years ago. Honeymoon never stops, it just keeps going. Yay or yay? Yay, yay. Oh, star, Angela. Oh, star. Yeah. Next is he. Oh, ye or he. Ye, he. Ye, he. Ye could be like uh, he go, pian, he. Oh, excuse me. Ye. He, he go, pian. If you see it, he go tian. If you see it, he go wa 
Tr. That's word. And yi, do yi, do yi, outside. Yo or hyo. Yo, hyo. Yo, hyo. And it could be you or hue. You, hue. You, hue. And this could be ya or hya. Ya, hya. Ya, hya. You need one. There, here's all tricky words. So. We use one or the other. Well, it's almost that time in it. So don't let it discourage you. Keep practicing and do the quiz with a smile. Even though if you, if you don't get it, all of them, it's just a learning thing. It's not flunking. You're just learning. And you'll know more as time goes. And you'll remember those syllabary as time goes too, you know. So just keep practicing, John Doyle. Mm -hmm. Ah, what? Oh, stop. <laughs> no worries, Millie. One of these days, remember you got a 